Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is King Production. Once again, talking about the relationship with God. Everybody knows who God is. He's the Alpha, the Maker, the Father from the beginning of time to the present and the future. God is always present. Thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. A relationship with God is two couples that love each other, that talk to each other continuously. A couple that share their life with each other. It's the same thing with God. If the couple is not true to that person, it's the same thing with God. You're not being true to God. If the couple is faithful to that person, it's the same way with God, you're being faithful to God. It's a reflection, whatever you do in a relationship, that's how you're gonna do with God. Everything that you do in a couple, it's the same thing. It's a reflection with the man upstairs. Since the beginning of time, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve was created by God. That relationship was strong. It was perfect love. But what happened? Adam and Eve sinned and listened to Satan. Satan was a stranger, but God was their father. And it was a relationship thing. They love each other. God loved them unconditional. But by them listening to Satan, Satan become their God and Satan had influence over their life. That's why you see the world as messed up as it is. Satan influenced people and Satan controlled people. You got the evil people and you got the good people. God have a relationship to those who believe in him and also be committed to him as a relationship. The way that you talk to your couples or the way that you talk to your husband or the way you talk to your boyfriend or girlfriend is the same reflection that's how you talk to God. If you true to God, that's the same thing how you is in your relationship. If you true to your partner, it's a reflection. So everything you do in a relationship, anything you do in your relationship as husband and wife or girlfriend and boyfriend, it's the same thing. Understand my brothers and sisters, when you have a relationship with God, it's the same thing relationship which you have in your partner. So don't get it twisted. Don't make people lie to you that relationship is not good. Relationship started since the beginning of time when God created Adam and Eve. They had a relationship. That's why when you see people talk over the phone, that's called relationship. When people have two partners, that's called relationship. So anything you do to your partner, if you're not faithful, you're not faithful to God. If you're faithful, you're faithful to God. It's a reflection. Whatever you do on earth, it's a reflection to God. That's powerful message. So listen, listen carefully. God is real. God is maybe invisible, but whatever you do in a relationship is the same thing with God. If you love God, you're faithful to God, and you stay by his teaching, that's a reflection to the man upstairs. Adam and Eve had that relationship with God, but they was broken because of sin. Now they had a relationship with the devil, but God's love was wonderful, powerful, victorious. From Genesis, from Adam and Eve getting kicked out, God was still with them. God had that unconditional love that man sinned against him. God loved man and woman so much through all through the Genesis from Abraham, Noah, Joseph, Moses, all through that history, God was still with them. But man and woman were stubborn. They was unfaithful to God. They was unjust to God. But God still hold their hand. God still was with them in the shadow. But what he did, he sent Jesus Christ down in the earth. Perfect. 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 A man that was sinless. Jesus Christ had that relationship with God. He was faithful to God through his mission. He was always praying to God. He had that relationship with God. He was committed to God. He was true to God. Jesus Christ came down to earth and said, I'm going to show you how to worship God. You have to have a relationship with God. Everything I do, Jesus Christ told his disciple, that's a relationship with God.
Jesus Christ prayed to God continuously. Jesus Christ communicate, could communicate to God continuously. Jesus Christ was true to God. He was faithful to God. By him showing his disciples that, they said that's how you have a relationship with God. And he obeyed God's word through all history. He sent out his message. Heal the blind, set out the captive, cast out devils, spread God's word to those who don't believe. His disciples saw the relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross and he defeated Satan and snatched the key from Satan. The key of death that he put on Adam and Eve that was in Genesis when God had that strong relationship with Adam and Eve. Jesus Christ took that back and now we have a connection with God which is relationship. Relationship. God love us so much when Adam and Eve was broken God still had the relationship through decades to Jesus Christ the promises see that set us free now we have a connection we have a relationship we worship God because Jesus Christ made things perfect again when Adam and Eve lost that relationship in the garden of Eve Jesus Christ bring that relationship back now we have a connection with God. We have a relationship with God. So whatever you do on earth as a relationship, marriage, couple, girlfriend and boyfriend, it's the same thing. Relationship, relationship, relationship. It's a reflection on God. If you lie, it's a, you lie to God. If you lie to people, you lie to God. If you true to people, you true to God. It's the same chain reaction in a relationship. People that cheat in a relationship, you cheat on God. People that's faithful in a relationship, you faithful to God. It's a reflection. Whatever you do in your relationship, whatever you do in your marriage, anything that you have as two couples, it's the same thing with Adam and Eve have with God. They sinned against God. The relationship was destroyed. But Jesus Christ made that relationship came back again because he was true to God. He said, I'm going to show you how to worship God.